Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to All-in-One Sports VR. Remember when I was complaining about sports game being unnecessarily separated from each other instead of just put in one app? That's basically the project that we're checking out today. The developers kindly approached me with a key and as well as provided for my viewers. So if you wanna play this as well, just write me an email. I think I have about five Oculus keys and five Steam ones. I'm not doing a giveaway roulette, just write me if you want and that's pretty much it. <laughs> so All-in-One Sports VR is a compilation of 10 Olympic disciplines put into one single application with physics and supporting single or multiplayer. From what I've tried out, the mechanics and rules of each discipline seems pretty correct. Sometimes the movement glitches out or there's a missing feature which seems very obvious to implement. So it's not like 100% polished, but the base gameplay seems satisfying enough to enjoy playing. I guess that's my answer why each sports game that we have releasing on the quest doesn't support multiple ones. I mean, really depending what you want to get out of this game. For example, I would play for days the badminton day support feels so good and just fun to play i would just go with my quest outdoors and play with someone online on the court though on my bed it's sufficient but sometimes i just hit stuff the concept and the whole design is pretty simplistic it's like this wii sports-esque project translated into vr so like i can't really complain because i'm not looking for like explosive arrows or nunchucks for baseball i just would prefer to play simple games with simple rules which this game does correctly let's play some sports so I see like we have 10 sports. Clearly this one just draws to me. And we just place. Okay, those cartes look like just me's. Oh, we have scope. Okay. Six. Ten. Oh, there's someone. Zero. Okay, so it's just turns basically. Ready. Zero. Let <laughs> me shoot to his. Zero. Four. Oh well. Ready. Zero. Yeah, like this is just kinda wonky. Like when it cancels the shot, it shouldn't just drop on the ground and fail the round. Like there's a way to implement a certain kind of pressure on the thing. And then if it crosses the limit, you would actually release the arrow, but not like just from one tap of the controller. That's just weird. But I like there's a scope and a wind. How is that a nine? <laughs> Ready. Nine. What? Eight. Ready. Eight. Okay, well, I will win anyway, so let's see something else. Let's try maybe baseball. Oh my god. Oh, we can curve the ball and stuff. Oh no, we just choose the direction of the ball. Aha, that's weird as well, like shouldn't we just turn our hand and then that would just normally curb the ball? That's kind of like lazy implementation. Well that's better throwing definitely from the other game. Let me see batting. Okay. I still find weird that even in this game we have just one handed bat, like I wish to grab it with two. <laughs> that should not be hard to implement. I'll just I guess simulate, I don't know. Okay. Oh sorry. Uh oh. <laughs> oh wait, there's badminton. Hell yeah! That's my thing. I don't think I've ever mentioned it, but badminton was my primary sport when I was in high school. So I should be very good at it, but I'm playing on my bed, so I can't like move around. I guess let's do backhand. Oh wait, it moves automatically where's the thing? I don't know how it's called in English. Oh, oh <laughs> This is a good touch. The sound of the trainers in the sports hall. Someone played badminton. That's very handy that it moves with you. I was expecting to fully just fall from my bed. <laughs> oh, what the hell happened there? <laughs> oh, 
Ah, close. <laughs> I'm just limited by the movement on my bed. Ah, damn it, because I'm out of shape. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Sorry, wall. <laughs> yeah, I can't think that there's a wall, like, I have to actually play. Yeah, that's classic flick. Ow. Oh shit, <laughs> I can't play it whole day like that, just for the badminton. This game has like attention to detail, like the wind from the racket. Let's do maybe box in the last. That's like something that's not very frequent in the recent releases. Pretty much every application that focuses on boxing released like on Quest 1. So <laughs> let's do this. That's something new. Fight! <laughs> this is like Fit XR or something. Oh, we had to curve. <laughs> what was that? A guard? I have to a little bit earlier do the notes. Yeah, I feel like sometimes it doesn't connect if you do like exactly in the note or when the note arrives you didn't do a movement fast enough. Okay, pretty cool. From what I've tried, I mean clearly badminton because it's my thing and I know the mechanics even real life of it. Very much impressed with that. I would play it very frequently. Even if someone would release an official badminton game, I would be all over it honestly. The rest of sports were fine. Each lacked in something or was not like 100% polished. But I'd say it's like a good number of disciplines to merge in just one application. Application. I guess essentially it's like a party game, whether you're like in one room with two headsets, you can just play multitude of sports and have fun. I think that's the main premise of it. Wonder what's gonna be the future of it.